Hydraulic Gradient in Canal Cross Section. Hello everybody. Welcome to a video tutorial which describes how to apply cross section template considering hydraulic gradient line. When designing cross section in eSurvey CAD section module, if you make appropriate settings, software will consider hydraulic gradient line and helps you to define safe cross sections. When the water is retained by a canal bank, the hydraulic gradient line passes through the body of the bank. For the stability of the bank, the gradient should not intersect the outer side of the bank. It should pass through the base and a minimum cover of 0.5 meter should always be maintained. Sometimes it may occur that hydraulic gradient line intersects the outer side of the bank. In that case, a projection is provided on the bank to obtain minimum cover. This projection is known as a counter berm. The width of the berm depends on the site condition. E-Survey CAD offers two methods to define the safe cross section. In cross section template screen, design a canal template as shown. Select more option in pop-up window, select hydraulic gradient tab, then select the type of hydraulic gradient that is counter beam or parallel line, enter distance from FSD, full supply depth, example 0.4 meter. Now select canal line, reference point, and slope line outer slope for both the sides. In hydraulic gradient tab there is one button FSD. In apply FSD window provide FSD height for all the cross sections. Now go to the preview filling sections. You can see output section after applying hydraulic gradient line with counter berm option. In case if you have selected parallel option in hydraulic gradient line then output section will appear like this. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to define cross section template and use derived layer concept to define templates suitable for railroad design.